to build the Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist was the dream of Roman Catholics in St. John's. They were Irish and came to Newfoundland to take part in the migratory fishery. But in time, many stayed to build a new home. They became not just fishers, but laborers, craftspeople, shopkeepers, and politicians. They began their cathedral in 1841. It took 14 years to build. It was the largest Irish neoclassical cathedral in the New World, one of the greatest accomplishments of the Irish diaspora. Their congregation spent the next 50 years decorating it with stained glass windows. They made sure their culture, heritage, and faith were represented. One family that donated windows was Richard Ivory's. In 1835, Richard came to St. John's from Mullinavat County, Kilkenny, Ireland. Nearby was Pilltown, Kilkenny, where Bishop Michael Fleming, who built the cathedral, grew up. Ivory and Fleming knew each other very well. In St. John's, Ivory lived at the top of Prescott Street, number 94, at Rollins Cross, today across from the Hungry Heart Cafe. Ivory was a dealer in wine and spirits. An 1878 photo by Simeon Parsons shows Richard Ivory's house, his kitchen door, and the entrance to his pub just down the road from the cathedral. So great was Ivory's fame that everyone knew him as Dickie Ivory. Along with his pints, he loved his Irish heritage. His was the local pub and he the neighborhood's bartender. And his pub was perfectly situated midway between the sacred and the profane, between the house of the Lord, the cathedral, and that den of iniquity, the house of assembly at Colonial Building. As you might imagine, Ivory was quite prosperous. Dickie Ivory died in 1882, and a decade later his family donated no less than four large stained glass windows to the cathedral. And for the next century, if you asked an older member of the congregation where Ivory's family sat in the church, they'd point to the pew and say, right there under Dickie Ivory.